Hey guys, this is John again, filling in a few updates. I uh, haven't done a lot on the dump truck in the last week or so. I uh, had a lot of changes kind of going through the place here lately. Uh, I just put a fence or, well, I'll just get working on some fencing and some gate work. Put an RV space in. My dad's up here hunkering down through this coronavirus stuff. So it's been a pretty good time, but here's what we've got going on so far. This is the gate I just put in on the front of our place. This was just a fence here. But uh, let me get this open here. Got a little road going back there. We still got to bring in another transfer load of gravel to get this going. There's my dad over there. And I got uh, about nine fruit trees going in here. So you know, my wife wanted to have a little fruit orchard. So I got that. Got some raspberries and some blueberries. But man, that, that gate looks good here. I wish one on my driveway looked that good but we got another one just like it it'll be going in oh probably in the next few days so i've got an old gate up here that we're going to be taking out uh, yeah i got my dad set up over there he's got full hookups and it's not too bad but we've been working i've been cleaning up a lot of brush uh there was a big tree right there to the right side of that gate oh it was about i don't know a little bit, oh, almost the size of this one right here in front of me. A little bit smaller. Uh, pushed it over with the loader, took it out here in the field. I had a big brush pile out here. And uh, we lit this thing on fire yesterday morning. This is all we got left. And that biggest log up on top here is the trunk to that tree that we knocked down. And I can't believe it burned, but that's all we've got left. And We've been busy. This would have made good video and stupid me. I got carried away working and didn't think about it. But I got this all, oh, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna widen my driveway right here. So we've got this all scraped out and I'm gonna go over 20 feet and then the length all the way up to about where the front of that bucket is right there on my loader. And I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna put in a, oh, probably some road base or something, pack that down and make my driveway bigger so I have more parking. Dump truck, okay, well I got a little bit of an update. Good news, um, I did bar this motor partly over. I put, a, I put a wrench and a big ratchet on it and it does turn over, but it only turns over part way and then it stops. And then I can bar it back the other way, almost a full revolution. And then it stops again. I think I've got a broken rod in there. I don't know if the block's damaged or not. I'm going to find out. I'll have to start tearing it apart. But also the steering assist, it was causing me to have a lot of air loss. I did find a cutout cock right here on this hose that feeds it. And I was able to turn that off. And then I was able to pump the system up. Oh, to, I think I got it. Well, it's up to about a little over 100 pounds now. It does leak off, but it's kind of slow, so... I might have some air leaks to deal with there, but I can pump it up. And when it pumps up, I found out my air horn does work. And I also found out if I open that cock after I got it pumped up, uh, this thing started venting and then it stopped venting and it started holding air and it's working. But it's almost like power steering on this thing, just having air in the system. It's pretty cool actually. I don't know how good it works out on the road, because when you turn the wheel, this valve right here actually does slightly move in and out, and that's how it activates the the ram that's right over there. You can, I think you can see the ram. There's an air ram right there. And when this when this is turned, when you put pressure to the steering box, this actually you can see that little groove right there. This actually slides back and forth on this drag link, and there's a valve in there and that's how it puts pressure to one side or the other of that ram. But man, it makes a hell of a difference. It actually steers pretty good. So, making all my noise here. But it does hold, it does pump up, it does hold air. It does have a slight drain, but I'm sure I'm gonna have to find some leaks. There's probably stuff in the dash. I'm not sure where all, I'll have to go through this thing with a fine tooth comb. There's gonna be a lot of work on this thing. But I am pretty confident, just seeing that that motor does turn over slightly, I think there's a possibility 
this thing might be rebuildable and it's only about 1800 bucks for a rebuild kit for these things to re-sleeve and put new pistons in it and that's going to come with all new gasket seals um new rod and main bearings it shouldn't be that hard of a job it's big and it's heavy i think the thing weighs about 2,000 pounds i think i'm not sure but it will be uh i can use the loader to get it out of here so i don't have a problem lifting it i'll just take this radiator off the hood off and it should be pretty easy to get it out i'm not sure if that radiator is good or not but we do have a good radiator shop here in town and that's at least it's got cast aluminum tanks on it i don't know about the bottom i think it is and if that radiator shot they could put a new core in that thing and it won't be too hard so hopefully I've, i'm watching a guy there's a oh there's a couple guys here in town that have a youtube channel and they're working on an old greyhound bus and they've got i think it's called fixing it with the long brothers but they have a radiator that they're having redone at leo's radiator shop in here in town and he's got the whole thing torn apart they're going to put a new core in it and the guy that looks like he does pretty good work so i think that might be i might be going that same route i don't know what it costs yet i'll have to get a hold of them and find out but it's going to need a good radiator but it does work so let me pause this real quick here and i'll set it up and I'll blow the horn for this thing. I mean, everybody wants to hear the air horns, but this, the air horns do work. So here we go, just a minute. All right, guys, tell me what you think of the sound of that thing. I think it sounds pretty good. New horns or leave the ones on leave the ones I got on there. I think they sound good enough to leave on there. If you like the sound of that air horn, give me some likes. Alright, catch you guys later. Bye.